And thank you for joining me tonight. I'm Pam Wrigley and I am a bridal hairstylist. And tonight I'm going to show you how to create a really kind of fabulous little kind of low chignon that I created a couple of weeks ago now for one of my clients. Um, now we did try and do this style last week. So if you tried to join me last week, and you might have noticed the time kept changing from 7 a, 7 p.m. to 7.15 to 7.30, because I think I just, I don't know what I did wrong, but anyway, my technical expert has set up my YouTube video tonight. So it's all working. So thank you very much. If you have any questions as we go through tonight's tutorial, please just pop your questions into the chat box and I'll do my very best to answer your questions straight away. I think we should get started with the hairstyle. I've already done some hair prep. Hair prep is key to most, to almost every bridal hairstyle, whether you're working with straight hair, curly hair, afro hair, it is all about the hair prep. And for today's style, I've actually crimped the hair on my practice head and just pin curled the hair up into big kind of chunky pin curls. And I've literally just taken these sections out as you can see they're still kind of in those pin curl shapes what happens is when you crimp the hair if you crimp it and then pin curl you get root lift and volume from the crimping but then you get an extra additional bit of oomph when you pin curl i just check our questions hi nakaguli thank you for joining me you know what i need to do i should put my glasses on that's what i need to do Yep, Naki Gula and Amanda, not Amanda, Amanda, hi. Thank you for joining me. Oh, right, shall we uh, get cracking? See, sometimes I stop to look at the questions and I lose where I'm up to. So anyway, we've crimped the hair. And it's actually, once you've crimped the hair for this style, it's actually a really quick style to create. You're going to use that height to get a little bit of kind of, volume that you know you're going to use that volume I should say to get a little bit of height that's better and I'm going to twist the hair and secure that at the back so if this were my client I'd kind of be securing this just kind of just on that occipital bone so we don't want this to be too low put a bit of pressure against that bobby pin that's it. And as you press that bobby pin in, when you let go, the hair shouldn't kind of lift away from the scalp. You do need to make sure these first few bobby pins that you put in are nice and secure. That feels lovely. That's not moving anywhere. Because you don't want your, you know, creating a, a hairstyle, whether it's for a bride, just or a special occasion, you know, a birthday, prom, or just a Saturday night out. It's all about the foundations. So we do need to make sure, you know, that we build strong foundations for our hairstyles because the last thing you want is for those styles to kind of feel loose and feel like they're going to fall down. So work make sure you practice getting these foundations right. I'm just bringing these side sections back with a little twist so it gives a little bit of detail to the hair and then I'm securing them. Now you can prop these up a little bit. Hi Adra, thank you for joining me tonight. So you can prop these little sections up as you go along just to give that extra bit of definition to the hair and secure with a bobby pin. Now we do have, I know it's not easy, you might want to have some little soft bits down at the front here, and if you have crimped the hair, I would suggest that you kind of recurl these little soft bits that you're gonna leave down, because they won't be the right shape if you've just crimped the hair. And we do, as I was saying, it's not easy when we work, when I do our, uh, live tutorials here on YouTube. It's great because you can ask me 
any kind of bridal hair questions that you like. It could be about tonight's style, but it could just be equally just be about working as a hairstylist. You know, you might not even be just doing bridal work. As I say, you might be working, you know, people are preparing for their proms at the moment. So it could be prom styling you're doing, party hairstyles. So there's a big market out there. And if you have any questions, just get in, you can get in touch with me, as I say, here on YouTube. But we do also have, have, dropping my H's, I am from Manchester, mind you. We do have an online bridal hair course where you can learn how to be a bridal hairstylist. And if you're finding it, you know, I can't show kind of up close and in detail how I'm securing the hair here on when we work on YouTube because it's not so easy to kind of get that close-up shot. But as I say, on our online bridal hair course, you can learn how to prep the hair, which prep to use for different hairstyles. You know, you can, oh, I think this is looking lovely. Working with different hair lengths and everything is kind of up close and personal. So if you are struggling a little bit, you could always have a look at our online bridal hair course. I've got some fabulous students at the moment because we have a beginner's course as well as our intermediate level two course. And I've had some beautiful, usually what people do when they sit out their exams for the beginner's course is they send in pictures of them. It's really about, for the beginner's course, it's about hair prep. So you learn how to create Hollywood waves, beachy waves, soft curls, kind of just diff, lots of, there are lots of different ways of curling the hair to create very different looks. So you learn all about that kind of prep as well as, you know, so it's tongs working with straighteners, covering, health and safety, all important. And then you can get your certificate and start the level two, which is really where the real styling begins. But you can't, you know, you can't skip that step of hair prep. It is key to practically every bridal hairstyle. Every hairstyle, I should say. So I brought all the hair back now. Let me just check our questions. What's my most popular bridal hairstyle for the summer so far? So far, thank you, Adwa. You know what? At the moment, I am getting lots and lots of Hollywood waves. Whoops, lifted her up and didn't close the clamp. That's better. Lots of Hollywood waves. And, and beachy waves, but you know, for the last couple, I've done a lot of Hollywood waves for the last kind of couple of weeks, but at the moment I'm doing lots of trials for my summer brides. What I'm going to do now is push this hair over to one side, and a lot of my summer brides, so we're going to create a little low kind of chignon, so it's a gorgeous little textured, almost like a French roll, but with all this lovely texture from the crimping. So yeah, I'm doing a lot of trials at the moment, ready for my summer brides. And a lot of them, as I've been, as I say, I actually did a wedding today. She had, you know, it's a bit of a combination because I've done a lot of Hollywood ways with, but also with a bit of height on top. So not necessarily going kind of very flat on top, but more kind of, I'm just putting a row of bobby pins at the back here in case you're wondering what I'm doing. So yeah, my most popular styles at the moment are definitely Hollywood waves. To so say this lady today, she's having hers with a little bit of high. She had hers with volume here and lovely Hollywood wave at the back. So it's a bit of a kind of mixture. It's not just, you know, it's not just, whoops, a Hollywood wave. Let me just see, this hair is back. I'm pulling out my own hairstyle here. That's it. That's the bit that I'm leaving down. And low buns is another popular style, but definitely the half up, half down, I think, is timeless. Some people want it with Hollywood waves. Some people prefer 
to have it with beachy waves or just soft curls. Sometimes it's even that barely styled look. So it's a very soft curl. And each of these different curls is achieved by using, by wrapping the hair around, whoops, that's it, around the tongue in a different way. So then it's not difficult to create. You just need to know what you're doing. Then it's easy. Well, you know, when you know, everything's easy when you know how. And um, that's what I'm here for, to show you how to create these lovely, soft styles. So now let's create our little bit of a twist here. I'm not very happy. This isn't very secure. So I'm going to bring that over to this side because it keeps coming loose. And that's never a good thing when you're creating a bridal hairstyle. If you're working with hair and you're finding that, you know, there's one bobby pin, there's something that right. Don't just think, oh, I'll cover it up. It'll be fine. You kind of have to go back find out what it is that's wrong what's you know what's not secure secure it make sure it's nice and secure before you move on to the next stage just going to smooth this out what well, i do want it a little bit textured but i don't want it kind of too messy there's a fine line between tousled and kind of um messy and we want to, we want a bit of texture. I've just got a bit of a padding there. And I'm just going to bring this around. Put that in. That's it. And create a lovely little kind of low roll here at the back. That's it. And then we turn her around a little bit. We've got our lovely bit of padding here. That we can go into that hair, do our up and over. Go back in. Fabulous. So it's a kind of, it's almost a French roll, but it's a kind of 2024. <laughs> it's a current take on a French roll. So that's it. Lovely. And then we just need to, you know, if you want to make it a bit smaller, you can make it smaller. Just roll the hair a bit tighter. You can make it a bit looser if she wants it bigger. But it does suit kind of medium length hair, this particular style. And it actually suits, you know, if, you're, if your lady had quite short hair, I'm just going to nudge that up. That's it. Ah, oh, lovely. We've got our lovely little low roll, like a little chignon, actually. Let's just smooth that hair. We don't want it smooth, we want it textured, but we don't want it messy. A little bit of hairspray. You could use a bit of spray wax just to perfect, and then you would come back, recurl these little side bits, usually with the straighteners, just to get them kind of, you know, looking gorgeous. This side's nice and curly, where it's been pink curled, but this side's a little bit straight, so... Let's look over here, I think. But she's looking gorgeous. And you saw how quick that was. It's literally, once you've done the hair prep, the rest of the styling is actually quite speedy. And she looks lovely. No curling, really, for this style until the very end when you're curling your little side sections at the bottom. So thank you for joining me tonight. I'll be here again, same time same place next week and uh, if you have any questions you can just uh, get in touch with me through YouTube or if you want to find out more about our online bridal hair course our online hair styling course you can just look at createbeautifulhair.com and um, get in touch if you need any help or need any information don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a lovely week. Bye. <laughs>